terms of lessons, I think the first big one is that application beats theory by long shot. You have to do the thing before you can get the power. So if you're not shooting, then you don't really get that feedback loop going. The second one would be to start broad at first and then kind of niche down as you go. There's a lot of genres of photography and it's kind of hard to pick which one you're going to be interested in from the very beginning. So I think good advice is to try them all and see which one kind of sticks. A third lesson, better gear doesn't necessarily equal better results. In my experience, better gear just makes getting good results more convenient. Another lesson is that inspiration is fleeting, but consistency builds momentum. For example, I think it's happened to all of us where we started off this goal, um, maybe it's lose 10 pounds or go to the gym every day. And so the first day, 6 a.m. we're in the gym. And then the second day, 6 a.m. we're in the bed. <laughs> we ain't getting up. You can't really bank on motivation to carry you through the good times and the bad times and also the times where it's like kind of slow and you're not really seeing any progress. It's more so about sitting down, doing the work day after day and as you start to get better, it becomes more fun and like you, again, like run into that feedback loop of, okay, I'm doing this thing and I'm seeing results and so because I like seeing the results, I'm going to keep doing that thing. So the last one I'll put in here is like quote by Peter McKinnon, done is better than perfect. You can spend all your time being a perfectionist and trying to get every single detail right, like I'm trying to do with this video. <laughs> However, if you never actually finish the thing that you started on, then there's no value added, right? Like this video is probably gonna be trash because my premiere skills just aren't that good. I mean, it's better to have something delivered than not delivered, basically. So this section is called Starting Over Again, and it kind of details the things that I would do um, a year ago if I knew what I knew now which I do know what I do. The majority of it is the same. I first start off by getting a camera and I wouldn't get anything fancy either. Just something that lets me control the main settings of the camera, such as the ISO, the shutter speed, and the aperture. I'd also try to get my hands on some editing software, something like Adobe Lightroom. If you're a student, you get some discount. So I say take advantage of that. After I have the camera, I learned some of the basic settings. So aperture, shutter, speed, and ISO. That's 80% of the knowledge that you need to take your DSLR or um, mirrorless camera off of auto mode and into manual mode. After I learned about settings, I would go through some basic composition. Once you learn those three camera settings, you can take a very, very technically good photo. So everything in your scene is lit well, such that the person who's viewing it can focus on the subject as you wanted them to. Whereas composition is more how you're setting up and framing the scene to convey a specific emotion or tell a specific story. From there, it's pretty much just go out and shoot. Just shoot a really high volume of shots. The first thousand or so you take, at least, will be terrible. I've been there. Trust me, they're bad. Honestly, you're just shooting everything. If you're thinking about picking up photography to communicate some story or vision, I'd highly recommend it. If you're thinking about photography because you want to create art or release this creative side, I'd recommend it. If you're trying to pick up photography because you're trying to meet women, there's a funny story on that, and that pretty much covers what I wanted to talk about. I'll link some resources in the description below just in case you're interested in getting into photography. Um, some really quick and dirty tips so that you can just kind of get up and go. But uh, yeah, that's me. See ya. Ah, oh, that sounds lame. That's true.